welcome back to episode three of Grow Your Own Food. Um, it has been a very quick minute since I did episode two, but uh, there's just been lots going on of, you know, needing to plant up seeds. And also uh, my rental space got rented. I had to move my son. So I hope that you have not all been waiting with bated breath to what do we do next? Because maybe where you live, it's you're just finally getting rid of the snow. So which has bought you some time. So I have a lot of prep work to do, but I would like us to go and have a look at the covered plants. I think I checked on them about a week ago and they were still okay, but we could have some death. We could have some death. I don't know. Uh, a little drum roll, please. Oh. Ooh. Everything looks pretty darn good. Whew. Everything is looking pretty nice. That's awesome. Uh, maybe this lemon verbena it doesn't look so healthy, but uh, oh, it's very damp, so that's good. They were getting rain on them. But yeah, things are looking very good. So I have to make some decisions about how many plant pots that we need that we're gonna be planting. With the lettuces, it looks like I have four in here. So one pot, bush bean, snow peas. I think we could put these two together. So that's another pot. Let's do a cauliflower pot. If I put them all over there, then I know what I need for pots. Cauliflower, butter crunch, some of the Brussels sprouts, Swiss chard, broccoli, seven, verbena, got your deal. Nine, and our cabbage will be 10. So I'm gonna need, need to get 10 pots, um, but first I'm going to need to clean up the area over there uh, to make way for this new little side garden. some of these herbs well I have to first see is it an herb so squeezing the plant then smelling so that is oregano but I think it's a it's kind of a yellowy type of oregano so we want to keep that it's not a weed uh, this is probably lemon balm yep so we can actually use this pot that'll be one for us to use and then what are you are you a weed or are you a herb I'm not sure. We'll hang on to you. We've cleaned the area, but now I have a few pots and our starts. And so I just wanted to go through a few of them, um, you know, kind of together. Uh, and so before we start, I've got my eggshells that have been drying, just air drying. So I'm just gonna use just a little piece of wood just to crunch them up a little bit more. You know, because this is a free fertilizer and a free error. It's a free fertilizer and a free aerator. I don't know, is that how you say it, aerator? These are pots from last year. And yes, they have soil inside of them. And there are some people who they believe they should throw out all their soil and start fresh, which, um, to me, that's just a waste. And But if you can afford to do it, then by all means. But, you know, my mom never uh, threw out her soil. And, you know, when if I start digging in here, there are microbes and there are worms deep inside here, or they've been living in here over winter. And so that little worm has been pooping and whatnot. So me adding in some extra soil is going to just add that little bit of extra nutrition. But it's, um, it's, still a good container full of soil so I'm just gonna add in a few of our eggshells and if I had more eggshells I probably would put more in just to you know really enrich this more and I'm just gonna stir them in pull out anything that's not of value like the moss and a wood chip then I've got the farm to garden organic soil that I love and this is locally made here and it is cow manure with local yard waste. I will be putting some more in. For this one it is um you know I don't know how wide that would be um I don't know maybe it's about 15 inches across or so 
or maybe it's just a foot across. That looks, yeah, I guess it looks more like a ruler. Oh, that much. So in this one, I think what I will be putting in here, bush beans and our snow peas. So we have this bush bean, non-GMO. And so what I want is I want the bush beans to be on the outside so that they're gonna kind of cascade over. And I would say, let's put in three. We'll just take this out of this little tray, three there this one back so I've actually got four but this one has just recently started just gonna do it in a three so on each kind of triangular make a little spot and then pull them off and put them in those spots you know and the bush beans will each of these bush beans will probably grow at different intervals so um, you might get more beans on one of them. So I am actually just gonna make this a four by four. We'll just stick this one in here. He might survive, he might not, he's new. And then our snow peas, looks like we have one, two, three, four, five, six. So we have six snow peas that we're gonna put in here. This is gonna be a very, very healthy pot. So. I'm just going to split them up. So we have one, two, three, and four. So one of them has only got one and the other ones have got two. And we are gonna put these kind of in between each of the push beans. So I will just get a, put a little hole in and then press it down in between these two, little hole, press it down. This one was very dry, so I don't know if it was under the reme cloth it wasn't in a good position there we have our bush beans and our snow peas here it is from over top when we were shopping at the dollar store the first time i was looking for these bamboo poles which are pretty pretty cheap but they didn't have any um but they usually they probably have them now but these ones i have from before and my daughter she was using them for her garden a couple of years ago and so she just had a hair tie that she used but you could use your jute string, but I've just left it in. And so basically, we're gonna just make kind of a pyramid all around where these snow peas are. And we're just gonna press that down. We just wanna give them a little twist that they that they know, hey, you, you grow here, but you can check on them in a couple of days. They automatically want to grow up. They're little climbers. So then we have this bush bean and snow pea pot all ready to go just have to give it some water i hope you've gotten your five gallon pails and that you are saving your water i've got one right here from a hole up there this is free water I'm just gonna put a little bit in because i don't want it dripping all over my table right now so our first one is done. Next, I wanna do the broccoli. So again, I'm just gonna to toss up the top here a little bit. This I think has, looks like it's got some sawdust on top of it, could be that. So we're just gonna let that be extra mulch, sprinkle some of our eggshells on top, stir them in. And these are a taller, these are a taller pot, both of them. Again, add some soil. Pop it all up. And this soil is it's got great nutrition and so all of that is gonna you know go down with the rains. With our broccoli, we're just gonna put one in each one because the broccoli plant will get fairly big. Put our tag in, always put your tag in. I'm notorious for saying to myself, oh I'll remember later. Uh-uh, no you won't. You just lie to yourself, Maureen. So we're gonna just put in our broccoli right in the center. It's got lots of room for its roots to grow. Now you yourself can be putting these other broccolis in, into more pots as well. Uh, I will just be planting these in my garden. So number two, done. One for today will be our butter crunch lettuce. So if you have your seeds, you can put some radishes out into a pot. I've got mine into ground, so I'm not going to do them here. And there we 
draw our butter crunch with a small cut. Yay! Our purple top verbena, it grows from three to six feet. I have put it again into a tall pot, so we're just gonna tease these a little bit. Make a nice deep hole. And I do have actually a lemon balm also that's inside this one as well. So we'll have a purple top verbena with a lemon balm just in the front. Got a little bit of water. So that's gonna be our, you know, our flower and also an herb that's gonna be out front there. So we've got our romaine and there is one, two, three, four, five. And I'm gonna get away with putting in three in this pot. So I'll just take the half and again, we'll just make a triangle. This one, well, this one again was very dry. Did I separate there? There we go. This romaine lettuce is a cut and come again. So you always take the outer leaves and it just continues to grow, which is another reason why you want to have more than one, so that you're not just, you know, taking away, you know, from one whole plant the whole time, because then the plant won't continue to reproduce. So this way, you know, if we take, you know, three, four leaves from here, three, four leaves from here, three, four leaves from there, you know, it allows the plants to keep growing. A little bit of agua for you. So let's go and see how it's all kind of set up. It's not the best because we have an issue. My friends, my friends here have already started to go after my little deck planters. So I've got little pots on them for when the ladies are out and I'll just pull those off once I put them up. But with the lettuces, it was like, I'm not taking any chances. They're going up there. And I, and I did put this wire rack because it was like, oh good, you brought us peas and beans. Thanks, Maureen. I just put that rack, but there's our, our, uh, our sticks going up there. And then, you know, they're not super interested in the lemon, the lemon verbena, and they're not interested in the tall, purple top verbena. So that is good. <laughs> At least I have, have that saving grace. And as I have said before, I was thinking of actually taking these plant pots and putting them over at my tenant's space on the other side of the house. Um, so he still has some things that he's moving in, but I think that's a really good idea. Chickens! Oh, one was missing, but the rest are all at my feet. Oh, you guys were just like right on me, right with me, because it's treat time. Anyway, I hope you're having a great day wherever you are, and I look forward to seeing you on the next video where we are working at growing our own food. We do need to get a tomato in there and possibly a pepper. That would be another thing. I can't think if there's something else, but until then, take care and God bless.